The Mercedes-Benz A250 AMG line is the most performance-oriented A-Class derivative that you can buy. But does it offer enough punch, power and status to justify its nearly 600,000 Rand price tag? Well, that's what we're here to find out. You're watching The Review Brew with me, Mr. B. With its long nose, big wheels and wide-shouldered stance, the A250 AMG line certainly looks the part. You get 18-inch wheels as standard, but add 14,000 Rand to the price and you can upgrade to the more sportier 19-inch AMG rims. By virtue of aesthetic adornments such as the aggressive air inlets or outlets in the front or rear bumpers and the neatly integrated exhaust outlets, LED high-performance headlamps are standard, but you'll pay 6,000 Rand extra for a multi-beam system. The load base claims to hold 370 litres, which expands to 1,210 litres with the rear seats folded forward. These figures compare very well with those of the A3 Sportback. Inside, the A-Class makes a striking first impression with its minimalist fascia design, digital instrumentation and quality surfaces. The standard seats are racy-looking items and the driver's seating position is low-slung, banishing all lingering memories of the first and second generation MPV A-Classes. Dashboard, leather, sturdy, control panel looks very sporty as well. The infotainment and speedometer, completely digital, lovely. Also the space in the center console, as you can see, press of a button, you got space to uh, fit your wallet your cell phone it also has two usb ports to charge your devices this is just something that feels nice accompanied by a touch screen pad where you can control the infotainment with just a touch of a button and also it has voice control watch this mercedes-benz please turn on the radio select a station by saying the name of the desired station the ambient lighting feature is a nice touch giving you a kaleidoscope of feelings. The A250 AMG line is powered by the Marquis 2-litre four-cylinder turbo petrol engine that delivers strong peak outputs of 165 kilowatts of power and 350 newton meters of torque. The latter are available from 1,800 all the way to 4,000 RPMs. These figures are in line with what is offered by South Africa's favorite Golf 7.5 GTI and consequently the performance figures are similar too. On paper, however, the Mercedes-Benz holds a slight edge with a claimed 0 to 100 time of 6.2 seconds compared with 6.4 for the GTI and an electronically limited top speed of 250 km per hour. Indeed, this is not a slow car and compared with its more traditional rivals from Audi and BMW, it's significantly more performance oriented. So in conclusion, the Mercedes-Benz A250 AMG line may look like a quasi hot hatch. It might even perform and have the agility of a hot hatch, but it's not really a hot hatch. This is a high performance compact luxury car for those who like design, quality and technology at the top of their priority list. You've been watching The Review Brew with me, Mr. B. Until next time, look after yourself as well as one another. Take care. Please subscribe, like and follow us on our social media platforms.